Quasimodo. Huh. Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> Shrek. Hello? This dickhead from Monsters, Inc. <laughs> what do they all have in common? They have better pasta than our next hero. Hi, I'm Tornalini. My hair is made of the same fabric as this microphone. And if you're watching this video, it's because you have been checking out the Dota 2 International 2023. Are you ready? And notice this fat, boo looking uggo dominating the group stages. You are so you He's just so you big, so scary with that BKB. Look at this man. If you've never dreamed of LARPing as a character who spreads COVID while simultaneously enjoying the ass consequences of eating back to back Taco Bell Crunchwrap Supremes, then Bristleback is here for you. Hooray! Talk about your items. Your Bristleback, so you'll need some of these. How about those? A pair of these, and oh yeah, that. Now you'll be pretty much unkillable. No, but seriously, like Vanguard and Arcane Boots are your bread and butter to spam Quill Spray in the lane and shake off any harassment. As for Ag Scepter, it's a must because its active ability Bristleback is OP right now. Ag Scepter bursts down enemies, it's easy to land, combined with Bloodstone you'll survive in fights for a long time. Not to mention that each Bristleback instance of output counts as a stack to max your warpath, so your movement and attack damage goes hard. So the next part is Lego. Break up your Arcane Boots and Vanguard to make Bloodstone which pairs well with your Bristleback ability as we mentioned. So it's really convenient to pick up those two items to then build an even more expensive item at a relatively lower cost. Then you grab Ag Shard, it nearly doubles your goose stacks on enemies plus three, and Hairball is a nice opener or follow through with fleeing enemies. Um, so just a heads up, in terms of skill build, you can go to old school build and you max Bristleback after Quill Spray, or you can go to new pro build we've been seeing at the International where you max Bristleback last and Goo is max second, so you'll deal more damage, but you also take more damage. So it's kind of a more offensive version of Bristleback for those who are especially expressive with their anger. Bristleback, yeah? <laughs> Raining! Polish up that baboon's ass because you're pretty much doing the salsa when it comes to laning. Every time the support comes to hit you, just shove your shiny butt onto their wheel shield and back on up. Crack your back and let the uh, cool spray flow each time you want to go for a last hit on those creeps. Oh, it's gonna be super slow though. <laughs> Wait, how am I dying? Get me the hell out of here. Good lord almighty! By level 4, you should think about getting a level in the flu, known as nasal goo. Either you can use it before with the right support, or you nurse that tissueless nose until level 6 where you can dive the tower. Speaking of level 6, by then it's time to prick the pricks with your swinging dick and take a dive into the deep end of the enemy tower. With the big boost of damage you have and the stacks in the warpath from using nasal goo and cool spray, you should be able to snag a sweet ass kill. Ah, now we're in it! <sighs> Let's talk about the mid game. Bristleback is a lawnmower. You need to yank your goo and spray a bunch of times to get the motor going known as warpath. Keep yanking that cord until you get a nice amount of stacks of Warpath as you head into the other lanes to start your charge of destruction. Once you notice the damage the enemy party is focusing on you, turn around until they give up before you turn it back on them. Simply put, a good defense is also a good offense, and Bristleback does both simultaneously like a less awkward version of 69ing your partner. Take advantage of your massive damage to start wailing on other lanes before hibernating into the jungle camps to build up your Ag Scepter. Time to moonwalk, baby! Here we go! When you're low on health, just turn your ass around and activate B&B, &B, Bloodstone and Bristleback. You can even cast Quill Spray, Goo and Hairball while keeping your back turned from some truly 360 weird shit. Let's go! Okay, so for the rest of the fight, roll your hand into a fist and just start bashing your hotkeys. Spray, Goo, Hairball, Bristleback, Spray, Goo, Hairball, Bristleback, Spray, Goo, Hairball, Bristleback, Spray, Goo, Hairball, Bristleback. Spray goo, hairball, bristleback. Spray goo, hairball, bristleback. Spray goo, hairball, bristleback. If you're one of those guys who's jerking his gherkin every day, I think you have the finger dexterity to spam your QW, so get to work, okay? Taking damage, turn around. Dealing damage, turn back around. Need help? Pop Bloodstone and Bristleback and turn around. Have a lot of Warpath stacks? Turn around and start whacking. What am I on? Five or I don't know, six? Getting stunned a lot? Pick up Lotus Orb for armor and dispel or build Black King Bar. You can either be NASCAR or Fast and Furious. 
either stay in the fights and keep unloading quills and goos. Oh my god! They can't handle his back facing against them! Or start drifting into fights and crashing into enemies with warpath attacks. Now, if you did things right, you probably both tanked the damage and dealt the most damage. So you either be collecting your MVP award or your MVP feeder award. Either way, don't forget to collect your prize at the enemy's fountain. And remember, in the immortal words of Al Pacino, cool guys don't look at explosions, especially if it's coming out of their ass. So flip your skirt, honey, and show them your quill bloomers.